Huzzah, we're up. So, is this a good trailer or a bad trailer? Because I don't know which one you you picked. Can you not see in the corner on the Discord what it is? I can, but I, I wanted I was setting you up to like, oh, this is the good one. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I hope it's the good well, one. I, 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 let's put it like this. It's Amazon. Here are good things. The pictures look great. And it can't be worse than Halo. Ooh, man. Famous last word. I mean, you're probably <laughs> right. But I mean, Amazon is not afraid to spend money, right? We know they went to no. go ham on... They like Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. In uh, the before, Citadel. Yeah, before Citadel. that. Well, they spent a lot of money on that, but not a lot of people watch the Citadel. True, but I'm looking at it from a pure stamp, a, a purely financial standpoint. They're not afraid to spend money on something to make it good. And when it comes to properties to match the feeling you got from the original game, which is what this is, um, by the way, I'm Leroy, that's Michael. This is the We Trying channel presented by Nerder by Nature Productions. And we're here to talk about a lot. So with Look that out of the way, professional. Uh, I'm wondering how close. Now, keep in mind, this is also canon. Okay. So this, whatever happens in this show is going to be canon for the universe and the video game. Um, Amazon's not afraid to spend money. And I, I applaud them. I mean, they got the money. They're not paying their workers. So they might have spent it on something else. Um, Friend of the, Friend show, of the show, Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Bezos. Come talk to us. <laughs> We'd love to have you on the show. Yeah. I'm just saying, they're not spending on the people. Might as well spend it on the shows. All right, fair enough. wonder what I'm sp paying all this Amazon Prime money to. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm really excited for this. I really want to see this. And this honestly can't be worse than Halo. And I liked Halo as bad as it was. It wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't the, it wasn't the game. But I thought it was okay. It was Master Chief fucking. Damn. We're like two minutes in. It's fine. <laughs> just saying. Man. <laughs> you Spoiler really alert. Just you saying. <laughs> yeah, if you guys hadn't seen it. Oh, check this out too. And we'll talk about it when it comes, when we get to the teaser. The first season of Halo is coming to YouTube. Yeah. Because that's always a good sign when you got to put your show on a free platform. <laughs> you got the biggest confidence in the world. Okay, cool. Man, just play this trailer. All right. You need to stop shitting on Paramount. <laughs> All these shots at Paramount instead of talking about Halo. All right. Instead of talking about Fallout. I know that I've lived a relatively comfortable life. Stop! Mercy! Vault dwellers are an endangered species. Oh. I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. That might be the funniest thing I've seen all day. Yeah. Tomorrow, so they say, will be a lovely day. A bright new sun will suddenly break through. But I know. Unless I see it with you. I grabbed a moldy one.
It that looks amazing. That looks really good. Um, that looks damn good. The thing that sold it on me really was that free two day shipping. Really? That's what got you? Yeah, and, and the reason why, because I, I think it's bigger than that, because it seems like such a weird thing to put in a, a story about when you give the people the nominations, oh, it did this and did this. To me, it kind of realized, to me, it shows that the creators of the show realize they can have like a, a funniness to the show that you probably need to help lighten up the mood a little bit. And so when things are serious, because you're going to have funny parts, the seriousness is going to hit even more because you have things to break stuff up. I could be making that up, but that's just that's just what I got from putting out free two-day shipping. Like, oh, this is going to be a little tongue-in-cheek a little bit. And that's cool to me. See, I don't get that at all. Okay. I don't get it. It's going to be tongue-in-cheek. I get it. With So the thing that I liked about it was we saw Jonathan Nolan's name. So right here, the studio behind the boys and free two-day shipping. That was hilarious. But the So you see the Brotherhood of Steel right there. Mm-hmm. Um, what I liked was that I get to see Jonathan Nolan and we see um, and that to me gives me hope because if you remembered how good Westworld was when it was on, mm -hmm. like when I, when it was fine on all cylinders, Westworld was one of the best shows on television. Sure. Like, it, like HBO had like it was remember when HBO, HBO had Westworld miss. and it couldn't miss. And you got and, and so the people. So that's Walter Goggins right there as the ghoul. Which I really and so, the cool thing about this is, it doesn't shy away from the violence. Mm -hmm. There is the humor, but it seems like they get the people right. And and so right here, so you see, um, I didn't. I, I feel like there's a pit boy on somebody, but I, like they don't focus on it. Okay. Um. That is creepy. But I also, yeah, it is. It's like, okay, as you see the pit boy on her on her arm. Mm -hmm. And so, like, there's Walter Goggins before the, the, the nuclear blast, and he gets turned into the ghoul. Um, I, I just, I feel like this is going to be good because of the names involved. Todd Howard is listed on here as an executive producer. Um, that is a meaningful but it's, to me. Uh, well, it does in a sense of, I like the idea of somebody who helped create the game. In the same way Neil Druckmann did for, uh, for The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. And it and it wasn't like Neil Druckmann was like overall in charge, but like to get the sense of building this world correctly, I think Todd Howard is essential for this. And he's not in charge, but I think having his expertise and like, okay, this is the this was the feeling that you got when you played the game and let's see if we can recreate that and then jonathan nolan comes in with all his sci-fi uh hanky panky hanky the way he created a world yeah and the way he he created the world in westworld to where you felt like the theme park was real and then you felt like that world outside the theme park was real too i think those two together gives this show more hope than i got whenever i watched um uh, any of the other TV show adaptations, even and I liked Twisted Metal, but even Twisted Metal didn't give me when I watched their trailer the feeling I got from watching this. Sure, yeah. Um, for me, <laughs> going going back to that two day shipping thing, it's not that I think the show is going to be completely funny. I just think it's going to have funny parts, and it's really going to punctuate the seriousness moments because you're going to have those moments of levity to get back to more serious stuff. Like the trailer just looks incredible. Um, I've saw some comments online. Some people thought like maybe the costume seemed kind of like low budget, but I, to, everything looks right to me. I don't know what more you would want from it. I feel like people are wearing what they're supposed to be in it and it looks like it fits people appropriately. I would say just from this trailer, I did like the, the uniforms that the people had in here more so than the one that, uh, uh, Thrawn had in Ahsoka. Like I don't feel like I didn't feel like that uniform fit that actor well. That seemed kind of like a knockoff to me. But um, I I am excited for this. This looks great. Uh, and as somebody who hasn't played all of the Fallout games, I'm I'm really cool to see what they what happens when they come out of the shelter, and we see all the nukes going off around. Um, yeah. What I want to see, and if so. It's funny because you get to see like you're you're going to get like a 
a brief history of like how how we got here. So you see Walter Goggins was like a regular person and then he turned into a ghoul. So it's going to be interesting to see where in the world this in the timeline. So you have so you have the original Fallout that came out on PCs a long time ago. Um and then you have the console version, so you have Fallout New Vegas, and then you have the Fallout 4, and then you have Fallout 76. So I'm wondering where in the timeline and which vault this is um, as far as like, so I think this is vault 33, I think that was the number that they had up there. Um, and you want me to so play this the one, trailer again? No, 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 vault uh -huh. 33, from my understanding, I think it's LA. Um, so like where how far out so like and i'm trying to make sure i get this right so in fallout one you're in boston i want to say you're you're close to boston and in two new vegas of course so you're in the the desert and i'm trying to remember where four is based but I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out like where in the game universe this takes place and what causes this young lady to leave a vault mm -hmm. and go into the wasteland yeah and i mean it was telling to see that, her I'm like told. get frightened by the tumbleweed just because that was something she had, she's never experienced at all so i mean that that's that's a good setting for just yeah. her frame of mind as she goes out into this world yeah folks april 12th yeah. a lot of stuff coming out between uh the end of the year and beginning of our and next year with this uh, what was the thing we saw before this that I already forgot? Uh, Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla. House of the Dragons. Um, yeah, lots of good mm -hmm. stuff coming out next year. Let us know, are you excited for Fallout on Amazon Prime? Do you think they put enough money behind it? Is there something from the games that you want that you haven't seen in the trailer? Let us know below. Maybe they'll show it in a second trailer before the actual series comes out. Uh, click that bell here on YouTube so you know when we put up more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave those comments. It helps us out, and it helps us get to know you guys uh, when Leroy responds. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Threads, Twitch, and, of course, YouTube. Uh, we'll be back with more videos. Yep. We're out. Deuces.